Hello everybody. Feels like the whole week here I've tried to do the same video over and over again, but it doesn't come out well. Uh, I think I made a video in between the, the last video I, I published. It was just to, to publish something basically because I got so tired of making this same video over and over again. Uh, so I will not make that video uh, because it's impossible, uh, it feels like. The video I'm trying, I've been trying to make is, is like a, talking a bit about different text editors because it's time for me to try some text editors. Uh, and I wanted to talk about my opinion on and reasoning why I will choose uh, a couple of text editors to try out first here. I don't want to make that video. I don't want to make the video me talking about text editors I haven't used, uh, giving opinions about text editors I haven't used and stuff like that. Every, because I've watched the videos before I publish them in quotation mark or not publish them, I guess. And every time I realize that, what an idiot, you know, he just sits there and speaks about things you have no idea about. So I will just say this. Uh, I will try light Excel because I made an issue here on Light Excel. I tried this out a while ago uh, about uh, implementing a better, more powerful project management uh, features in this editor, similar to how uh, Sublime works with projects. Uh, and uh, the developer have actually implemented this quite a while ago now, a month ago or so. Uh, and I haven't uh, came back with feedback here because I haven't tried these uh, new functions uh, and features out. And I have felt bad for not continuing uh, this thread here. So that's uh, on top of the list of my uh, uh, text editors to try out. Uh, not sure though if, if this will be where I, uh, the text editor I will choose as uh, my next text editor. There are two other editors that, I, uh, uh, that looks really interesting to me and those are this. I haven't tried it out, I've just read about it here and it looks really really cool. Uh, and Cocoon which is something similar to this. I will link these, you can make up your own mind instead of listening to an idiot talking about what this editors are since I haven't used them. You can see I have some other editor homepages open here. Textedept, Guinness, Emacs, Space Max, Vim, Space Vim, Univim, Visual Studio Code, whatever. If you like those editors you can use them, if you don't like them don't use them, whatever. I will try these out uh, and I will not try these out. I might actually try Univim out, uh, but uh, whatever. I will not even open the tab because it's a commercial product. It costs just as much as Sublime. Um, and I'm also not uh, completely um, ruling the possibility of me staying on Sublime, paying the price, or maybe just staying with Sublime Text 3 because as far as I understand, my license applies to Sublime Text 3 and I uh, I can use that for as long as I want, uh, but I will never get any updates for uh, future versions of Sublime. Uh, if I want that, I need to pay a license every three years, you know, and yeah, it's uh, I guess it's a good time here to, to try to find a different text editor. But if I don't like any other text editor, I will keep on using Sublime. Um, but I will start here with Light Excel, uh, Cocoon, and this. I haven't decided uh, exactly how that. Um, if I make videos about everything, make a first impression video, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but those are what I will focus on, and I actually think that one of those three editors will be. Uh, my my daily driver text editor for for hopefully at least 10 years that's uh, that is kind of what i'm uh, looking for something that i will use for at least 10 years from from the day i switch just as sublime has been 
And yeah, the only reason really is that it's a good time to switch editor. It's not like Sublime has done anything terrible or, or anything like that. And I don't even think this is a terrible thing uh, that they changed the license agreement. It's it's uh, not like um, doesn't come as a super big surprise, really. Uh, in one way, it does because uh, I think it's a bad decision from from the company, uh, from the Sublime Text or Sublime Company, I guess. Yeah, the Sublime Headquarter Pty Limited ABN thing here. Um, I think this is a terrible uh, uh, business decision uh, by them and we'll see what happens with Sublime. Um, whatever, whatever. I will not talk more about this. Uh, I, I don't want to make this video one more time. I want to get on uh, using a text editor. I want to reply. Uh, to, to the issue I opened here initially and I also I am very eager to try out Cocoon and this uh, So why 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 waste any time? Ranting about things I have no business ranting about Okay, you have no idea what I mean what I'm talking about really here, but um, Since I will not upload the videos. I even made a thumbnail but it's not happening. It's not happening. This is what this is. This is the video. It's good enough. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.